My name is Andrew Charlesworth. I live in Hilltown, PA. I'm slowing down. Married to Lisa Charlesworth. I have three children, uh, two of which are twins, Reed and Cassidy, they're four and a half, and an older daughter, Sophie, she's eight. It was a Thursday before Easter. Driving home, I noticed I had some chest pains, but it also kind of went up into my jaw. So I called my parents to come and pick me and my car up and drive to the Doylestown Hospital. Mr. Charlesworth presented complaining of very mild, vague chest discomfort. He is a healthy appearing 40 year old gentleman. And my initial interaction honestly was that everything was gonna be okay. But with his slight radiation to his back, there was just something in the back of my mind that made me uh, contemplate the thought of a thoracic dissection. And I ordered a blood test called a D-dimer. I was expecting everything to be normal, but was surprised that his D-dimer was highly positive. This then prompted a CAT scan of the chest to evaluate for a thoracic dissection, uh, and this study was highly positive. After the CAT scan and the nurse came in, she's like, oh, the doctor will be in to see you. And the mood kind of changed right away. We immediately called the cardiothoracic surgeon, Dr. Alteri. Joe, without hesitation, uh, came immediately to the emergency department contacted the cardiothoracic team and took him to the operating room that night. I got a call from the ER physician that they thought Andrew was having an aortic dissection. Aortic dissection is a surgical emergency. There's a tear in the wall of the aorta. Well, two things can happen. That tear can go all the way through the wall, in which case that's an aortic rupture and that's usually fatal. But in Andrew's case, the tear went partially through the wall, not all the way through the wall. And what it does is it peels the wallpaper off of the wall. And that's why it becomes a surgical emergency. I asked him how, how long would I've had if I kind of got misdiagnosed or didn't come in or for some reason something else happened. And he, I think he gave me 24 to 48 hours. We use the heart-lung machine to put him on bypass so that we can stop the heart and the lungs in order to replace the ascending aorta, and in his case, his aortic valve was also quite diseased, and therefore we put in a mechanical aortic valve. The prognosis for him long-term is excellent. Part of the beauty of this procedure and how well it went for Andrew had to do with the collaboration among the physicians in the emergency room, the staff in the emergency room, the staff in the operating room, myself and others. I'm just happy that I live in the area and was able to go to Doylestown Hospital, to tell you the truth. I think what makes Doylestown Hospital special is our ability to work together as a team through all departments, and there's no better example of that than the cardiac and cardiothoracic services. The care at the Doylestown Hospital has been, you know, bar none, probably some of the best that I've seen. I mean, I haven't had any issues at all. All the nurses were incredibly attentive. It's been a great experience.